a lot of the damage people have been talking about is on barrier islands instead of on the mainland of Florida. And barrier islands are basically sand built up by wave action and river mouth. Barrier islands are subject to the largest wave attack from hurricanes. Storm surge is usually not as big on them as it is in more inland areas like bays. The actual bridges with piers that go into the Gulf of Mexico, undamaged, usable, designed just fine. It's the roads built upon the sandbars that those bridges connect that were destroyed. So if we're going to protect these low density, low population density resort type areas, it's really spending public money on the people who have a lot of money to begin with, um, as opposed to places like New Orleans or New York or um, Miami or Tampa, St. Pete. What we have seen over the last couple of decades is that storm tracks are moving poleward. What that means is that at low latitudes, like... Um, the Yucatan, for example, or, or Central America, they're expected to get fewer storms as time progresses. And the relatively higher subtrop subtropical latitudes like Florida and the Mid-Atlantic are expected to get more storms. Storm tracks are, are really Russian roulette as far as where they're going to shoot. It's difficult to predict um, what the effect of climate change on the... Um, landfall locations or the frequency of a given landfall location is going to be. Um, but what we can say is that the storms that do make landfall are going to be more intense uh, because of the warmer ocean waters. We see what they call um, fair weather flooding occurring frequently now in Miami um, and other low-lying areas uh, just because the, the, the land itself is very low. And... Um, Sea level rise combined with high tides, even without storms, has been causing flooding. Um, so the only things that are going to protect those areas are either. Um, I mean, we have a couple. Of, we only have a couple of options available. We can retreat from low lying areas, um, as we see, for example, Indonesia doing retreat. Their government is ret retreating from Jakarta and building a whole new capital in uh, at a higher elevation. We can elevate our low-lying areas. Uh, Miami Beach is doing this gradually. So Miami Beach is also on a barrier island. They experience fair weather flooding frequently now. Um, and they are importing um, sand from uh, the mainland and from dredge spoils, I think, to, when possible, elevate their roads. Um, and then they, when people redevelop properties, they are encouraging people to um, abandon the first floor of properties and fill them to elevate the whole barrier island. And the other thing we can do is build coastal barriers like New Orleans did, like is proposed for Houston now. Um, there's a proposition for New York and New Jersey that's come out. Um, the Netherlands has these barriers. The Thames River in London has these kind of barriers. These barriers um, close when storms come and open the rest of the time. They're not going to protect us from sea level rise because sea level rise means the water is going to be high all the time. But these barriers are very good at protecting densely populated areas from um, storm surges 